Hi, this is Paris Wolf teaching cryptography. Make sure you smash that subscribe button, like, and comment if you have any questions. So CBC, MAC, and CCDM, that's counter with cipher block chaining and message authentication code. It's gonna add authentication to the encryption of AES because AES encryption does not automatically come or provide authentication. And so it's gonna verify the person is who they say they are that they sent it and the integrity of the data has not changed. In Windows hashing, so computers that are connected to an Active Directory domain, they natively use the NTLM version 2 to hash those passwords and they're stored in the Active Directory database. And often, John the Ripper and OPH Crack are used to crack those hash versions in the LM and NTLM. Now, Linux hashing, the main methods would be bcrypt, that's salting and hashing, MV5, crypt1, SHA1, SHA-256 and the SHA-512. So the Linux hashing covers the bcrypt and all the SHA types. Now typically all the passwords are stored in the slash etc slash shadow file. In the older, in the 1980s, it was the etc slash password. 